In the last video we created a graphical user interface so the user could change the values of the coefficient of restitution and the initial vertical velocity to see what happened when a ball was fired from the ground vertically upwards and then came down and bounced to a halt. What we'll do in this lesson is to create an application that will run independent of MATLAB. To do this we click the Apps tab and then we scroll down to the application compiler. Here we give the application a name, we give the application details and we need to add the main file. So the main file was lesson 4, so we'll add that and we'll allow the runtime to be downloaded from the web. That means that whether you download it to Windows, Android or iOS, the correct support files will be downloaded. And then we just press package. We're going to save this under lesson 5 project. This will be a folder that contains multiple folders for the files that are generated. We'll set a custom splash screen and then we click package. This takes quite some time. And when the compiler has finished, we get a testing file and a distribution file. And if we double click on the distribution file, it loads the installer. So we can now install the app on this computer. So anybody who runs the program now can run this without having MATLAB. And that is the end of this video and this series. In this series, we've used the command window to calculate the trajectory of a bouncing ball. Then we created a script to do the calculations automatically. From there, we created two nested loops so we could allow the ball to bounce multiple times. From the nested loops, we created a graphical user interface to allow a user to change some of the variables. And then finally, We've created a standalone application which will run without having MATLAB installed on the computer. I hope you enjoyed this series and have got something out of it and look forward to seeing you in the next one.